Samsung packs tons of the latest technologies into the NX1, a prosumer, mirrorless, interchangeable lens camera designed to compete with DSLRs like the Canon 7D Mark II and video shooter favorites like the Panasonic GH4. I'm Lori Grunin, and this is the Samsung NX1. While it's not perfect, it is the closest that I've seen mirrorless cameras come thus far to delivering a DSLR-like experience. The design is similar to Samsung's previous models of this ilk. It's not particularly lightweight, particularly when equipped with one of the company's fast lenses, but the substantial grip balances them well. All the controls are comfortable and well laid out, at least once you tweak the mappings. For example, I hate the video record button, which is hard to locate by feel and difficult to press, but you can swap it with the Wi-Fi button, which you rarely need to press without looking. The camera's really sturdy, too. It survived an accidental drop when I face planted on a hard floor. I really like the viewfinder, which refreshes quickly and provides tons of information, as well as the bright, tilting OLED display. I wish the camera auto-switched between the two a little faster, though. Speaking of speed, the NX1 is really fast. While it's not faster at focusing or single shooting than comparable cameras, DSLRs included, it's pretty close. And for continuous shooting, it thus far beats the pack, running at 14.4 frames per second for unlimited best quality JPEGs. And you can push that to about 15 frames per second with a really fast SD card and shutter speeds above 1 500th of a second. The autofocus keeps up too, though not under all circumstances. Unfortunately, the camera lacks tracking autofocus when shooting through the viewfinder. Image quality is generally excellent, but the backside illuminated center does show the typical characteristics of that type of technology, such as clipped highlights and crushed blacks, especially at high ISO sensitivities. Video quality, both HD and 4K, is pretty great too. Unfortunately, at the moment, you've still got limited display options since it uses the new HEVC codec that's not widely supported yet. Except for the aforementioned lack of tracking AF, the camera has tons of useful features, including wireless connectivity, manual controls in video and headphone and mic jacks, among other things, USB 3.0 support, interval and time-lapse shooting, and so on. Really, the only thing that bewilders and annoys me is that it doesn't ship with a battery charger. You're supposed to charge it through the USB port, which is slower. Samsung has done a really great job with the NX1, finally bringing the performance to the place that its high-end NX models deserve. I'm Lori Grunin, and this is the Samsung NX1.